Good morning and welcome to Himeji, Japan. So we are here in the city of Himeji, which is famous for the Himeji Castle behind me. This is one of the oldest and the largest and best preserved castles in Japan. So we're gonna go check it out. We are here at the entrance. It does cost money to go into the castle grounds here. It's, I believe, $10 a person, but it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so we are gonna pay and go. We bought the combined ticket, which is the castle grounds and the garden, but you have to keep your ticket because they'll rip this off separate. They ripped off the bottom one for us. Uh, so make sure if you buy the combined ticket, you hold on to it. Twenty-one hundred for both of us, so that is ten fifty each for the combined ticket. So this is a no tripod area, but instead they have camera stands that you can put your camera on and take nice photos. Meiji Castle is a marvel of defensive architecture, featuring two moats, originally it had three, and five kilometer of fortified walls that you can walk through. The entire complex is massive, covers an area of 233 hectares, or 50 times larger than the Tokyo Dome, and features 83 different buildings. So make sure to give yourself a few hours if you want to see it all. Meiji Castle has survived so long partly due to the white plaster walls, which give it its nickname the White Heron Castle. The plaster is naturally fire resistant. So we are in the inner courtyard now where the actual castle is. We just came through the Nimon Gate. Himeji Castle is known as a Hirayama or a hilltop castle with the main keep being the highest point. In 1993, Himeji Castle was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the main keep is considered one of Japan's national treasures. So this is one of the main things that I wanted to see here at Himeji Castle. This is Okiko's Well. This is a very popular ghost story here in Japan. There are many variations to the story, but in all of them, the beautiful servant Okiku is framed for missing a treasured plate. The Lord attempts to blackmail her into becoming his mistress, and when she refuses, he throws her down the well. And then every night after that, he could hear her counting the plates and then screaming until it drove him insane. It is said that this is the ghost story that inspired the ring. We just finished Himeji Castle and it is amazing. If you can only do one castle in Japan, I would do this one. It is huge. You get to walk through so many different parts of it and like you can go all the way up to the top there. It is really awesome. Definitely worth the $10. 
and check it out if you are in the area. We are now at Coco and Garden, which is just beside Himeji Castle. It's not on the grounds. There is a peony garden over there, but that's free. If you got the combined ticket, the gardens are about 200 meters down the road. So that's here and we're gonna go. Meiji Castle is by far the most impressive castle that I've seen in Japan yet. It's definitely worth a day trip considering it is so close to Kyoto and Osaka. If you get the chance to come see it, it is definitely worth it. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.